and uh, I had another question on on food. Like, <laughs> what do you think? Uh, like, as an Indian, do you you know how how is the food culture? And do you have think you... is it like England where you have most of the places with sandwiches and stuff? No, I mean, typically I have not exaggerated that in the video because maybe I would have got a lot of hate comments. I don't know. Like, typically there is no food in Dutch. If you see Dutch food, it's zero. That food is like zero. So what happens is like they have always cold meals. They are used to that. Like I don't think anywhere in the world they have cold meals so many number of times. I mean, food here in general, their natural food is not good. Even some Dutch people will admit it, but some don't because they are used to it and they don't know what is a good taste. So the thing is like <laughs> the breakfast, they always have this. It is also not sandwich. I mean, sandwich is even tastier than what they eat here. So it's always like, uh, I mean, it is healthy. I'm saying it is super, super healthy, but it's very bland for the taste buds. Like brown bread which is really healthy i mean the you will find like 100 types of brown bread with different grains and everything so it's not that you are eating bread all the time you're eating the refined flour that's not the issue but mm -hmm. always it's like bread cheese cheese will also mm -hmm. be like 100 varieties some spice cheese cumin cheese uh, fenugreek yeah. cheese normal cheese different types of cheese mm -hmm. sometimes in the lunch time the same loaf of bread and cheese and like raw spinach leaves so <laughs> okay. that's like really healthy because they get iron and everything and most of the people here are above six feet the average height is like six half or something everyone is very tall okay but uh, it's like that like and milk and the yogurt and buttermilk these are the common things which they eat in lunch and breakfast And in dinner, sometimes they have cold, sometimes they have hot, which is also like a standard one or two meals. Like they call it hot pot, which they the sausage and some leaves like this, like cabbage leaf or a spinach or something mashed into a pulp. And okay. that sausage will be there around it. And that's it. Like that's called a rogue wast or something. I don't I cannot also pronounce, but it's like that. Like, yeah. So it's, I mean, Dutch food is nothing. So it's better to know how to cook your own food. Otherwise, if you eat outside regularly, I mean, when you're working, it is sufficient to sustain, but you'll spend a lot. So you can cut down your savings by cooking occasionally maybe. And mm -hmm. sometimes- So do you have Indian, Indian, Indian groceries and stuff? Uh, yeah, yeah. Did you see my video? No, I- I didn't. I did not see it. Did, oh, did you make okay. a video? Okay. I didn't I, I, make on Indian grocery exactly, but I just made on the supermarkets and what are available. Okay. And you will find a lot. I mean, for raw materials, you'll find everything, right? From your everything, like bay leaf, uh, the semolina, anything you want. Like mm -hmm. even for praying your god or goddess or anything, because there are some families they do it. So everything is available, and. Mm -hmm. I think I have mentioned the name of the markets and what do you find in the supermarkets in Dutch supermarkets, not exactly the Indian one because India, where I'm staying now, I don't have any Indian markets near me. So I just order online whenever I stay home because in my PhD, I have to work from home two days. So I go only three days to university and Wednesday okay. and Friday is work from home. So on those days, I order that everything which comes. Okay. So that's not an issue. I mean, in Utrecht, especially I know like, there are many Indian shops nearby. Uh, you can go to Den Haag or maybe Rotterdam. So those are very near to that. So mm -hmm. that won't be a problem. You'll find a lot of shops near your home only. You don't need to order online also. Okay. Okay. But you should so, know how to cook. That is essential. Yeah, I, I'm good at it now. I've, I've lived uh, six years out of home. So I'm like... Uh, oh, you have already stayed six years in UK. <laughs> No, I, I stayed one and a half year in UK and then four years in Bangalore, one year in Hyderabad. And, you know, I, I've oh, stayed quite that's a lot good. away from home and, and I've gone through that phase of learning how to cook. And now I'm uh, decent enough of a cook. <laughs>